I'm Christy Hartman, and you are watching the hashtag Makers Creative Collab, hosted by the amazing PM Artist Studio, aka Patricia Carmichael and Mariah Rushing. If you're not familiar with this amazing company, please take a look at their website and their spectacular stencils. Their stencils are creative, innovative, and each week they host three live sessions on YouTube showcasing techniques, tricks, and great artsy information using the gel plate and projects which are associated with media. Take a look at their Facebook group, Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artists, where you will find an active artist group dedicated to making beautiful artwork and sharing with other artists. Each month, PM Artist Studio provides a theme or a prompt and a video hop for the YouTube artists as well as a group called the Non-YouTubers inside the Facebook group. We complete a project, develop a video showcasing the project, linking to the next person video on the hop. This link will be available at the end of my video, so stay tuned and look for an amazing discount code which PM Artist Studio has offered to everyone watching the video. This month's theme is hashtag eclectic evolution. Eclectic to me means many varied and unusual. If any of you are longtime educators, you may remember and have had training in the creative thinking program called Talents Unlimited. I utilized some of that creative thinking when I began developing this project. Evolution to me means the stages of a project. Consequently, I thought it might be fun to show you how this project came together and the inspiration behind it. This canvas is a 12 by 14 inch canvas. The theme for this project was desert. So I began with an idea, which is often the case for artists. We are having our second grandchild and it's he is going to be born in October. And when I asked our daughter if she had decided on a theme for the nursery, she thought a desert theme for this baby might be fun. So I knew I wanted to use my gel prints, which I had been specifically developing for this project. So I began by painting the background, and I painted all four sides of the canvas as well with a slip slap brush technique. And I worked to develop this darker sky because I knew I wanted to add a moon shape, and I knew that I wanted to use complementary colors in the project. This moon shape is actually a PM Artist Studio stencil which is called Quilted Crop Circles. The hillside is a batik technique that Patricia has shown a few times in their videos and I use that for the mountainside. It's a little darker than this one but I used it for the mountainside and I thought it was really effective. These four layers are a combination of prints. One that I used was this one, which uses aqueous effervescence as the overlay. And then over the top of it, and you can see it better in this one, I overlaid the quilted crop circles over the top of it. And then I tore those apart and I layered these four layers. These three cactuses were cut from a print that Patricia and Mariah had sent to me in one of my stencil orders and they worked beautifully for this background area. This larger Swahara cactus was a roll-off print and I used some of the strips to add some interest. These two prickly pear cactuses were cut out of two different gel prints that I printed using a variety of PM Artist Studios stencils. Um, this one is, more, is similar to the one that I used with the saguaro cactus, but this is what remains. 
using this stencil, which is Bloopy Loops. And then, of course, you can see the quilted crop circles in here. So those two stencils were used to develop these prickly pear cactuses. I added a lot of shading and highlighting to all of the cactuses to bring out, to give them some depth and some contrast. Thank you so much for joining me. I don't know about you, but I have a great time developing these projects based on the themes. I hope you have a great time as well. Remember, give me a thumbs up and leave a nice comment so that I know that you were here. And remember to stay tuned for the coupon code and for the end screen, which will take you to the next video. Look for a process video to come out shortly where I show you how I developed many of the prints for this project. Hope to see you next month. Thank you for joining me.